Well, hey there, dudes. Um, just done a little bit of this new, for me, Positive Grid Spark Amp. Uh, it's a great little thing. Uh, so I've just done a, a quick sort of tone demo of some of the presets and a little bit using the built-in drummer feature. Cool little amp, dudes. <laughs> to the blues settings I'm just mucking about here I don't know on the rock setting now these are just all um like most of just the presets <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
want to like the metal meta setting. <laughs> are on the alternative setting. Bonjour. Um, I, I, uh, I, I've just got this uh, spark. I'm positive grid spark. Uh, it only came a couple of days ago. I haven't really had a chance to play with it. Working kids, etc. Uh, but uh, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. I know there were massive delays when these first started shipping. Um, and people were waiting months and months and months. Literally months. Positive grid took, took everyone's cash. And, uh, and didn't deliver the goods. So everyone was furious. I, I kind of wasn't going to get one, but uh, I did. Um, and it shipped to me now. What, what are we in? We're, in? we're in November 2020 now. I ordered it a couple of... Uh, it, took, it took like seven days to get here. So I'm happy with that. That's great. Um, and it's really, really cool. Really cool. I was previously using Line 6... Amplify 30, which is a really, these, these are both little practice home, little home amps, really. 
little bookshelf amps, I'd call them, because they're both small and compact. You can see the size of that one there. The Line 6 Amplify 30 is even smaller, but I was, I've been really happy with that one. Uh, it's got some lovely tones, um, but I think this is better. <clears throat> it sounds, in the room, really spacious. They've done some trickery, hocus-pocus magic trickery with that reverb on there, and it really makes it sound massive and expansive. It's really cool. Uh, so so anyway, there's some really nice tones on this, straight out of the box. So there's the tone cloud where you can download users, uh, amp settings, recreations of famous tones and stuff like that. Some of them are rubbish. <laughs> I'll be honest here, they're user made. Some of them aren't very good. Some of them are good. The preset sounds are excellent though, really usable. Um, much more so than on the, the, the Line 6 Amplify 30, I think. <clears throat> so I've just wanted to do a little a little muck around video. Um, yeah, it's not rehearsed or anything. And I'm not the best, most technical player in the world or anything. But I just wanted to do a little a little vid of this one. A little vid. Because I think it's really cool. Um, you can control it via the settings on the top of the amp itself or... Um, it really comes into its own if you use the app, which, uh, you know, it's all controlled by, by the app here via Bluetooth, connects via Bluetooth. Um, but all your settings, all the amps, loads of pedals and effects are all on there. You change it from, 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 from your iOS device. I think there's an Android app as well. But it's, it's really cool. Uh, and I've only scratched the surface. There's extra features like um, you can create backing tracks. There's a couple of built-in drummers and things. Where you select the tempo, and if you play summer, it'll uh, it'll create a bass track as well. I've not really played around with that so much. And there's all kinds of, uh, I think, some online video stuff where you can get tabs and, and things like that and, and play along. It's really cool. It's really cool. I think it looks really cool as well. Even the misses probably will think it's okay. Apart from wanting to kill me because I've bought another guitar accessory. I think it's a really good deal for the money. I think it's excellent. It's got a little carry strap. You can move it about there. It's not battery operated. But yeah, I'm well impressed with it. It's a really good little sounding amp. I think with this locked at times of lockdown, um, no one needs a 100 watt rig, really. This is a little 40 watt amp. For home use, it, it, it's excellent, and I think it would be a really good recording interface as well. Uh, so I'm going to use it for that. It's really nice. Yeah, smashing, smashing, truly. Lots of settings to play with, lots of amps, lots of effects. It sounds really nice. Um, <clears throat> I was looking at buying a little valve amp, but I, I ain't going to be cranking a valve amp to get the, the really meaty and satisfying tones out of that. So this is this is really good. Highly recommended. Thank you very much. You take care, y'all.